Hey, what's going on guys? It's Hawksnest here, back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now, inside of today's video, we're going to be talking about the Battle Royale inside of COD Mobile and exactly what could be done to fix it and just improve the game overall. Because in its current state, it is a good game, but I think there are some things that are holding it back and a couple changes that could be made to make it a great game and bring in a ton more players. And basically all of the changes I will be talking about are changes that could be easily implemented. They're not like things that would take a lot of research and development and just a lot of time to really add. These are basically all changes that could be a uh, number one changed or number two added into the game within, I mean, a couple days or a couple weeks if COD Mobile wanted to. So, so hopefully this video can serve as a way for me to give my suggestions on what could be changed and then also you guys can give your input down below in the comments letting me know and hopefully cod mobile know what you guys think of the changes that i suggest as well as what changes and suggestions you guys might have personally so with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video and start with our very first topic. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is the health system within COD Mobile. Now I'm talking about this one first because I literally have been up for the last nine hours testing stuff and just gathering data uh, so that I could actually compare the COD Mobile health system to other games, most notably Warzone, because that is currently the biggest uh, battle royale inside of the world right now. And also it is a COD battle royale, so it is going to fit very similarly to the COD Mobile battle royale. So let's go ahead and break down how the COD Mobile health system works right now in a very quick summary so basically when you land into the game you start with 100 hp it's very simple if a gun shoots you and does more than 100 damage you will die or get knocked if you are um, on a team but anyway you start with 100 hp and you can actually go up to 150 hp if you do get an adrenaline shot which we'll talk about more soon but essentially that's just a rare item that you can find on the ground and you can only use it to get up to 150 hp and then the other aspect that kind of affects this it doesn't really affect your health it just affects how much damage you take which in turn will make it so you lose less health is going to be your armor there's level one armor level two armor and level three armor level one armor will reduce the damage that you take by 25 percent level two is going to reduce the damage you take by 35 percent and then level three 45 percent which means that if a gun shoots you and it typically would do 100 damage it would deal 75 damage with level one 65 level two and 55 with level three or in other words if you had an adrenaline shot popped so you had 150 hp and you had level three armor that would basically be the same thing as having 272 health now, for comparison, in Warzone, the most health you can get is 250. You start with 100 HP, but you can pop armor plates, which give you 50 HP per armor plate. So you can have three armor plates. So 50 times three is 150, plus your normal 100 HP is 250 HP max in Warzone. So in COD Mobile, you kind of have 272 HP. Again, the system is a little bit different, but effectively you have 272 compared to the Warzone 250. So it's a little bit higher, but there is something else that I wanna talk about, which makes this an even bigger problem. And that difference is the guns inside of the battle royale the guns inside of the battle royale are way 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 too weak even the best guns like the ak-47 uh the m4 i guess kind of mainly just the ak-47 to be honest which is like the most mostly used gun inside of the br right now is still extremely extremely underpowered and the weapons are underpowered in three different stats number one is the damage number two is the range and number three is going to be the accuracy which i'll talk about in a totally separate section because that needs a lot of talk but in terms of the damage in the range let's go ahead and compare the top gun inside of warzone to a gun that's very similar inside of cod mobile so i have the stats right here so the gun i'm going to be talking about is the grow inside of warzone that is one of the top ars inside of the game that weapon can actually deal 225 damage per second after 60 meters obviously it could deal more but i'm going to kind of talk about the long range right now because that's where um, we have the biggest issue inside of cod mobile br the closest gun that we actually have to that is going to be the m4 which can deal 216 damage per second after 37 meters so as you can tell it does deal a little bit less damage per second not a whole lot less so that's good uh but the range is so much smaller like it's 37 meters compared to the 60 on the growl because before 60 meters with the growl you're going to be dealing a, a lot more dps so already right there you can see that we have more hp in the cod mobile battle royale and guns are weaker in terms of their damage per second and mostly their range too the range on the weapons are just really really bad and this is because the range for the weapons are built for multiplayer not built for battle royale inside of multiplayer the like longest fights you'll be getting in is probably like 60 meters tops whereas inside of battle royale you could be fighting people up to like 200 meters so this along with the accuracy problem that i will talk about very soon makes it so that the time that it actually takes to kill people inside of the cod mobile br is way 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 too slow like honestly just way too slow so let's have an example here at 50 meters inside of the cod mobile battle royale the time to kill if you hit every single shot on someone which is really hard and again we'll talk about the accuracy soon but if you hit every single shot your time to kill will be 1824 milliseconds or in other words 1.8 seconds 
1.8 seconds to kill someone at 50 meters if you hit every shot and they have adrenaline and level 3 armor which again is the max HP now let's go ahead and talk about the AK inside of Warzone now the AK in Warzone would have a time to kill at 50 meters of 0.93 so almost exactly half the time that it would take to kill someone inside of the COD Mobile BR almost exactly half of the time which means the time to kill in COD Mobile BR is about twice as twice as slow as Warzone. And by the way, all of the things I'm talking about right now are with body shots. Obviously, headshots would affect that, but body shots are just a little bit more consistent. Inside of PUBG, if you're shooting someone at 100 meters, so even farther than I've been talking about, the time to kill is going to be 0.35 if they have a level 3 vest. 0.35, that's 350 milliseconds. So as you can tell, the time to kill is ridiculously, ridiculously slow, and it gets even slower when we talk about the accuracy. But before we get into that section, let me go ahead and propose my solution for this. I'm going to go ahead and read this off my phone because I want to say this perfectly because when I typed it out, I think I said it pretty well. But anyway, my solution is that they remove the adrenaline syringes or they nerf the effects of armor. So make uh, armor not as powerful, essentially, or buff the range and damage values of weapons. I personally think they should just remove adrenaline syringes, period, because adrenaline syringes, number one, they make it so whoever finds them are just, they're way stronger, basically. So that's kind of an RNG aspect that I don't really like. And when I say RNG, I mean like it's a lucky aspect. It's if you have one guy without a syringe and one guy with a syringe, more than likely the guy with the syringe is going to win the gunfight because he literally has 50% more HP than the other guy, which is way too much. And it's just way too based on luck, essentially. Because even for the people that are really aggressive and fight a lot, they're going to be using those adrenaline syringes a lot and run out very quickly because they are a very rare commodity if you don't believe me that probably means you play the battle royale public version a lot which means you just play against random people essentially but if you play in a custom lobby with a bunch of good players you're gonna notice this instantly adrenaline syringes are like a commodity and they're just really based on you finding them and getting lucky i think to balance everything out they should just totally remove adrenaline syringes i think that would be really good but if they don't want to do that i think they should nerf the armor and if they don't want to do that they should buff the range values and damage values of weapons or they could do all three whatever they think is the best move i i definitely think those three things would all work very well together if possible but this one might be a little bit more controversial so let me know what you guys think of that down below and what you think the best solution would be but anyway let's go ahead and move into the next one which is going to be the accuracy system inside of cod mobile now i'm not going to break down how accuracy works exactly because that's a whole separate video on recoil and accuracy and all that but essentially a gun will not shoot where you're aiming it will shoot um kind of randomly but not super random it's not like the shots will go this way and this way and this way it's kind of like there's a circle around your like red dot and your shots can go within in that circle it's not exactly where you're aiming but it'll be kind of close now this kind of close works well in multiplayer because you're shooting people that are close to you so the targets are very big but inside of the battle royale where the ranges are much longer the bullet spread accuracy inside of battle royale is very very bad you could be perfectly aimed onto someone and you could miss every single shot which means that you could be the best player in the world and still lose gunfights just because the game decided well you're gonna be unlucky in this gunfight and so we're gonna make you miss all your shots which is an aspect that's really bad and just really bad for the game overall. It hurts basically everybody. I don't like it. I don't think anyone really likes it. And I think the only reason it's in the game is because they copied that system from multiplayer into Battle Royale. So a way to fix that is very simple. Just increase the bullet spread accuracy and make it a lot more accurate, essentially, inside of the Battle Royale. And I think most of us could agree with this. If you have played Battle Royale and played at a longer range, you probably noticed this. It's really bad. And basically the only solution currently that we have is put every single bullet spread accuracy attachment on your gun and get the dense fire mod. And then maybe you can start to hit some shots at longer ranges, but even then it doesn't help that much. Just for an example, let's go ahead and look at a video where I used an M4 LMG with every single bullet spread attachment. So it's as basically as tight as you could possibly get. And I shot my second device at 100 meters away. And I, I tried to keep my crosshair exactly on my character. And this is what happened. So as you can see, the time to kill was, I think, like 4.5 seconds, which is ridiculous. And then if you compare it to like Warzone, where you can have basically a very similar setup, which is a growl with a 3x and basically a ton of different accuracy attachments. Let's just go ahead and look at this clip of Nick Merckx destroying people at super far ranges because you can actually do that in Warzone. Oh, we have it in front of you. Oh, they're everywhere, dude. Down. 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 Oh, my God. This is the craziest clip. So as you can see, number one, that clip was absurd. And number two, the accuracy inside of that game actually works and you can actually hit shots where you're aiming, which is really nice. It's just that recoil that you have to control. But recoil is something that you can feel and adjust with, whereas bullet spread accuracy is just random. You cannot control it. There's nothing you can do. It sucks for basically everybody. 
and again i think i already mentioned this the way to fix that tighten up the bullet spread accuracy or just make it so that the only thing that affects your shots is going to be the recoil next up is the reason that i actually didn't play for a long time and that is going to be the optimization inside of cod mobile now this is simple basically all they need to do is they need to add lower end options for people that are playing on older devices now basically every device made before 2018 can't actually get 60 fps inside of cod mobile i know this because all my devices before 2018 can't get 60 fps and they're basically like the best ones like ipads and iphones and stuff like that uh, but anyway basically just add lower end options optimize the game better and if cod mobile would be able to do this it would bring in a lot more people playing the game because there's a ton of people that have older devices and they come from pubg or free fire or games that can get 60 fps and then they hop on the cod mobile battle royale get 30 fps it hurts their eyes they delete the game and get off that is something that would massively massively improve the quality of life for basically all of the players and it would just bring in a much larger player base which would in turn fix the next issue that i do have the next issue is going to be bots inside of cod mobile now bots are necessary no matter what you say you can't just remove bots and i'm going to explain exactly why bots are good for a battle royale specifically or a mobile battle royale because essentially if you don't have bots what will happen is you'll try to load into a battle royale game and it has to get a hundred people which takes a long time to do and inside of mobile games people aren't very patient people get on quickly and want to get off quickly because it's a mobile game they're probably not sitting down to play for a lot of hours obviously some people will but some people want to do it quick so because of this if you're trying to get a hundred people in a game that takes time and so obviously you're gonna have larger queue times which means larger queue times means people will leave more often which means then it's really hard to fill lobbies and then you can't fill lobbies at all when people start backing out and then the the game dies so obviously there has to be a way to fill games quickly and that is bots and number two a good thing about bots is newer players can actually feel like they can win games and and have more fun essentially by fighting these bots and not fighting super sweaty players but then obviously you have the people that play the game a lot more often and start to realize hey i'm fighting bots this isn't fun so this is my proposition for that to basically satisfy those players as well as the newer players that are totally fine with fighting bots because they probably don't even know they are all right my suggestion is this we could either have a rank playlist that basically has 50 people games so not a full 100 people it's just 50 people as well as basically have an option that asks players whether or not they'd be fine with playing on other servers so you could just check yes or no and then obviously if you check yes you'd queue up a little bit faster because the game would queue you up with basically anybody or you could check no and your queue time probably would be a little bit longer but then you just match people from your region and then again it would be 50 players so it should be fairly easy to queue up with 50 people a multiplayer game is able to fill up with 10 people pretty dang fast i think 50 people inside a battle royale wouldn't be that big of a problem and then maybe just speed up the zone and everything to make the 50 people still feel like a very intense match or even just do it on the alcatraz map which could totally support 50 uh, 50 ranked players they could either do that or they could have a custom blitz mode with super fast zone and 50 players once again either on alcatraz or the isolated map which is the traditional one with the fa uh, faster zone but yeah, so if they did that, if they had some kind of mode where basically you can queue up and have a bunch of real people play together, that would satisfy the needs of all the people that want to play real people. And then obviously the newer players could kind of get used to the game and kind of rank up a little bit inside of the just the, the typical public matches. Right now, we kind of have that with the custom games, but you have to set up a custom game and get people. And that's really difficult unless like you're a YouTuber and have a bunch of people like watching your stream that can join, which YouTubers are starting to do a lot more often because it's really fun. But if there was a built-in feature into the game to just queue up and join those kind of matches, Matches, that would be excellent next up is going to be rng now rng is not a super big problem in this game it has been a bigger problem in the past but ever since they made it so that you don't have to pick up attachments and stuff like that there has been less rng but there is still definitely aspects that are really dependent on luck as opposed to your skill three things that i have listed under rng is going to be adrenaline syringes like i said before um armor and then also loadout drops this isn't a super large problem and i already talked about it before but the adrenaline syringes again it's whoever has it more than likely will win a gunfight not always obviously there could be the better players but if you have two players that are very similar skill level that extra 50 hp is going to basically make you win all your gunfights against again players that are very similar skill level to you and then also kind of the same thing with the level three armor as well i just think maybe there should be a little bit more armor or maybe the effects of the armor should be nerfed a little bit and then also loadout drops i don't have that big of a problem with i'm totally fine with them actually i just think a better system would be that people could buy them as opposed to them dropping randomly on the map because then basically it's just based on whoever's closer to it which again it's not a huge deal because the ground loot is sufficient inside of the game but if they were able to add like a buy station where you could buy loadouts you could buy self revives you could basically add the war zone the the warzone buy system that would be perfect because then it's based on how much kills you've gotten and how much money you've earned and how much you've looted because then you can actually go buy the stuff that you need which makes sense it's still a little rng but a lot better 
as opposed to are you close to the loadout or not. So that is my rant over hopefully COD Mobile. If you guys are watching this, hopefully you guys can implement these kind of changes into COD Mobile. And again, if you guys are watching this as a viewer and a player of COD Mobile, number one, if you haven't tried the Battle Royale, definitely try it. Let me know what the issues are that you have with it, as well as what things you actually enjoy about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully BR can continue to grow and improve already. COD Mobile has made massive strides in improving the game. And I'm hoping that these kind of changes can also be implemented so that we can hopefully see a lot more esports inside of COD Mobile in the future. And then obviously just a better thriving community around the Battle Royale. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like and a sub down below if you guys did. And I will see you guys later. Peace.